Ever hear of a joyful griever? No? Then allow me to introduce myself. I'm Deb Rossman, author of The Grieving Heart, a collection of poetry and prose about loss, hope, and living. The emphasis is on living. Here's an example of what you'll find in my book. Brown Sugar Pies, an excerpt from The Grieving Heart by Deb Rossman. When I was a very young girl, no more than three or four years old, I used to mistake a neighbor lady for my grandmother. I would see her and run from my mother's protective side, yelling, Grandma! Grandma! She would always scoop me up in her arms, giving me hugs and kisses, telling my mother, It'll be all right. She can help me bake some pies. So we would walk hand in hand down the road to her cottage kitchen, where she had all of her bowls and pans and baking flour out. She was usually done by this time, and in the process of cleaning up, but with her little guest by her side, she'd look at me with a twinkle in her eyes and tell me, Little one, I'm going to make you your very own little brown sugar pie. She'd already used up all of her berries and other fruit on the pies that were already baking in the oven. Gleefully, I'd squeal, You'll make me my very own pie? Yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So she would scrape together the little bits of dough she had left over and had me roll it out. She would pull out one or two of these tiny little pie tins she always had about, and then she proceeded to make me my pies. She'd fill them with lots of brown sugar and butter, finally crisscrossing the top and place them in the oven with the others to bake. Needless to say, these little pies only took a little while. Soon she would pull them out and let them cool. While that was happening, I'd help her clean up, or at least try, and we'd have a nice little visit, and before I knew it, it was time, and I could eat my very own pie. Never has anything ever tasted so good, so warm and gooey from the oven, melted brown sugar and butter, and I could eat the whole pie. If I was lucky, there'd be another one to take home with me. Years later, when I realized that she wasn't my real grandma, well, it just seemed that I didn't visit as much. And a few years after that, she passed away. On that day, I cried and I cried, in part because I hadn't continued to visit, but in part because I lost a special friend and who would ever again make especially for me those amazing little brown sugar pies. This may seem like a very sad end, but much to everyone's surprise, it's an honorarium to that wonderful woman and those luscious little pies I hope it invokes memories of cherished people that crisscross our lives, much like the topping of those brown sugar pies.